Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So right now it is 1020 and I actually have a call with my YouTube manager here at 1030. So I'm going to hop on that. We're just talking about like my 2021 like goals and stuff like for my YouTube channel and just kind of like going over like what I have lined up so far. All that good stuff. And it's literally so cold outside. I walked out of this morning and my hands like literally went numb. Um, it's like 30 degrees and it's super overcast, so it's just so cold. But I'm going to go ahead and make my to-do list for the day because I actually have a pretty busy day. I have that call. I'm recording with Brooke Michio at noon, my time, one her time, for my podcast, the Gen Z Girl Podcast. Drinking my coffee. Definitely going to have more than one today because I'm just like freezing and the warm coffee is such a vibe. Full tide, everyone. We won the natty last night and I'm literally so happy. Oh, she started parking. <laughs> my dog does the same thing <laughs> okay i just finished up my call with aaron and my manager and it went really well just kind of like talked about like brands i want to work with like things that went well this year um numeric goals and everything it's really nice having someone like sort of inform you of where you're at and also just like help you set your goals for this year and someone who's like on your side like backing you and everything and we were just going over my numbers for 2020 and I like my jaw literally dropped and I was just like, I can't believe this is my life. So I just wanted to quickly say thank you to all of you because I just, I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. I feel like we've all kind of like grown up together on this channel. And even if you're new, um, I mean, I appreciate you literally whenever you got here and I just love you all so much. And I don't know where like I'd be without you all because I mean, y'all are literally like my go-to's <laughs> so like whenever something good happens like the first thing i do griffin tells me all the time he's like you literally let your subscribers and like followers know about stuff before you let me know half the time and i'm like i'm so sorry but they're just family to me um but i'm gonna get some water Really quickly, I just wanted to jump in and talk to you all about the sponsor of today's video, which is CVS Pharmacy. Specifically, I wanted to talk to you all about CVS Pharmacy's Live Better by CVS Health's line, and I'm going to be sharing with you all the products that I am implementing into just my daily routine, an exclusive line that they launched that offers over 80 different products for overall health and wellness. They really focus on ingredient transparency and sustainability, which are two things that I really, really look for when I'm taking vitamins and supplements and adding those into my daily routine. You all have already seen a lot of the Live Better products that I take. I'm going to be showing you all the ones that I've recently added into my routine. All the product packaging is at least 80% recyclable and there's truly something for everyone. The Live Better by CVS Helpline has options that are non-GMO, vegan, gluten-free, and many other options as well. CVS is just encouraging everyone to start fresh and live better. Just put 2020 behind us and sort of prioritize our overall health and wellness going into the new year during 2021. It's definitely a goal of mine to just improve my overall wellness. And for me, that includes taking supplements and adding them into my routine that I know will help benefit me in some way and supplement my lifestyle. One thing that I recently added into my daily routine is taking the Live Better Fermented Beet. This helps support energy and physical performance. And this really helps support my goals of just being more physically active more frequently throughout the week. Another one of my favorite wellness staples is this women's probiotic with cranberry. This is a dietary supplement that I really enjoy taking to help supplement and support my gut health. You all know I love my smoothies and a great way for me to support my joint health while drinking my smoothies is integrating this organic turmeric complex powder and this is great to add into your smoothies or if you are just putting it in anything else that you prefer. As you all see in this video, I love to use this in my smoothies. You can discover more and all that the Live Better line has to offer through CVS Health in the description box of the link down below and all of the Live Better products are actually buy one get one free. Thank you to CVS again for sponsoring this video. The questions, everything's good. I mean, okay. I mean, yeah, perfect. perfect. I know it's funny because yeah. I was like putting the questions out. I was like low-key. I feel like I know all the answers to this already. <laughs> Just finished recording with Brooke. It was so much fun and went really well. The episode will be up um, next Monday, so on the 18th, if you all want to check it out. Gen Z Girl Podcast. I literally always have it linked down below in the description box, so definitely check it out. Coffee number 
you. Let's go. I've been working on editing for a while. I've like taken a few breaks because I just, my eyes are like tired of staring at my screen because I have been all day. But JNJ Marketplace just released the Natty merch. So it's where I got this sweatshirt, my 1992 national championship sweatshirt. Pretty much all my game day sweatshirts are from there and they used to only sell them to like sororities and fraternities basically. Um, but now if you go to jnjmarketplace.com and they like release the designs to the public place to order and then like they produce based on production qual or they do the production quantity based off of the number of orders they have. I believe this video will be up in time so there's nine days from today left to order Natty merch and I Griffin got a regular logo hoodie. I got the Miami Twice sweatshirt in white and then I also got the original logo long sleeve t-shirt. Alright everyone, I finished up editing my vlog and it's ex well, it exported and now I'm compressing it and then I'm going to send it over for approval. So hungry because I just like didn't eat lunch and I just had coffee and like a yogurt earlier because I was just so like tunnel visioned on getting that video done and it took me so long because I literally had a ridiculous amount of footage and I was trying to cut it down to like under 30 minutes. But I just had some packages come in. So I know I mentioned a few vlogs ago that I had a lot of money on Visa gift cards from signing with my apartment complex last year um and i thought what better way to kick off my fitness goals and everything like that with um some new fitness stuff so i did it. got some gymshark stuff i go through phases with gymshark where like i think things are really good and then things aren't that great it just depends on the product and how it fits because honestly it fits everyone differently leggings in this like really pretty like bone color um and then like the bottoms i really like how they're like not straight across and they kind of just have like that detailing and these are the vital boost leggings in light gray marl i got a size small and i'm like a four six in pants i'll do a try on later and it has like a little cinch on the butt so maybe that'll make the booty look good we'll see and then next from gymshark is this top i wanted some more like long sleeve tops just for like while it's super cool because sometimes i'm like way too cold in the gym um this is like just like a black crop long sleeve top. I really, really like it. I love the fit of it, like how it's cropped, but like also not gonna be skin tight. We'll leave all of this link down below. I also got this really cute. I normally don't do colors whenever I get separates because then you can only wear them with certain stuff. But I really, I just loved this top because it cinches in the front. It has like a little pull where you can like make it, um, tie in at the bottom which i think just is super flattering and it's like this really pretty purple color um and it just says gymshark on the front nice and subtly and then i got this which i think will be great to wear like during my workouts and just over my stuff to the gym it's just like a white pullover and it's super soft and it's like a little um quarter zip situation sorry about that guys my mom just like randomly called me so i had to take a break um but i got the legacy shorts these have like really good reviews a little bit worried about their length because they're like in between like spandex and bike shorts you know um but I, my idea was to wear these on leg day with like a long sleeve prop top i think that'd be really cute and also just functional for legs but right now it's way too cold to wear these so i probably won't wear them for a while i from target i mentioned in my last vlog about getting a reusable nespresso pod and you're supposed to like get whole beans and then grind them to like a certain consistency not buy coffee grounds with it so i looked on target and i was trying to find like the best like whole bean coffee i could find i like went through so many looked at reviews all that kind of stuff i ended up going with the counterculture fast forward nutty sweet creamy notes coffee it's so good oh my gosh and i went with the stump town holler mountain creamy and caramel whole bean coffee and a coffee shop back home uses stump town and i love it so those are the two i got but i'm still waiting on the actual pod to come in from amazon so i don't know when i'll be able to like try it out taylor d creations made me this really beautiful like little jewelry dish that has like a gold ang in the middle 
Um, I'll leave her Instagram link down below if y'all are looking for anything like this. This is a really good gift for someone if they're getting married. If you just want to get it for like a friend or something, you can just get one initial. I'm currently snacking on some multigrain scoops and this guacatillo salsa. It's literally phenomenal. If you like guac and tomatillos, this is like basically like a salsa version of guac with a little bit of a kick if you're wondering what it tastes like. Okay guys, it's starting to make dinner right now. I'm gonna do like a lemon butter chicken situation in the skillet. And um, I'm cutting off like the woody ends of asparagus right now. I think that's what they're called. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna roast this in the oven instead of the air fryer just cause it'll make things easier tonight since we're doing the chicken in the pan as well. So um, just gonna first rinse and cut off the ends. I'm gonna melt about two tablespoons of vegan butter really quickly in the microwave. And I'm going to squeeze the juice of half of a lemon um, with the butter. Tiny dash of olive oil. It's like half a tablespoon probably. And then mix that all up. And then going to just lay the asparagus evenly on a baking sheet. I typically like more thin asparagus and not like really chunky <laughs> asparagus, but Target's asparagus is pretty much always really thick, but I've noticed that Publix sells very thin stalks, if you're wondering about that. And then I'm going to drizzle this mixture that we just did all over it. Land salt. And then just some plain um, breadcrumbs, and we're not doing a lot of these, just like a little bit. And I'm gonna, I'm sticking on the oven at 375 just because I need the oven at 375 for the chicken, um, for the last little bits of the chicken. And I'm gonna like probably eyeball it for um, like anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes just because it is thicker asparagus, but it may need even longer than that just because the oven is at a lower temperature. You can like, you can totally Google like how long it takes to cook asparagus if you're not needing the oven at a different temperature. Letting some water boil. Also gonna be making some pasta. I'm just using this, the yolk-free uh, egg noodles. I don't know why these noodles are like just like literally the best. Okay, now I'm doing the chicken. I'll leave the recipe link down below. Um, but I'm doing, I'm halving it because I'm not doing four pieces of chicken, I'm just doing two. So first off, we're doing the one cup of chicken broth. Okay, so doing one cup of chicken broth, or half cup, oops, doing half of this. So it's two tablespoons of lemon juice, but I'm just doing half a lemon, which is probably more than that. Need some minced garlic. I gotta make sure it's still good, yep. And I'm just doing a, it says one tablespoon, I'm just gonna eyeball like half a tablespoon since we're halving it. Then I need to do the red pepper flakes. Half a teaspoon, so we are literally doing barely any of this. A dash. Combine those and then we're gonna move over to the skillet medium high heat and add the olive oil it says to add the chicken breast to the pan to brown on both sides for two to three minutes which I'm probably gonna do a little bit longer just because these are still a little bit frozen on the inside making sure I'm getting the olive oil under it my stove top's kind of uneven. And this recipe calls for a shallot or red onion, but I don't have either of those because Target was literally completely out of onions, um, which is really weird when I went the other day. And so instead, I'm just going to chop up some green onions. I know that's not the same thing, but green onions literally always taste great. I can eat them plain. So I'm gonna chop some of those up over here while the chicken is browning for a few minutes. Okay, I'm flip to the other side. Okay, so I've done probably closer to five minutes or four mm -hmm. minutes. I'm trying to find more. <laughs> I've probably done closer to like four or five minutes on each side. Just really trying to get them nice and brown, but they don't have to be cooked all the way. Um, so they're gonna go in the oven. But I'm trying to make sure that they're at least like, for the most part, cooked because I think I have a little bit thicker of chicken breast than the recipe does. 
Okay, so now that it's on medium, I'm gonna pour in the little chicken broth mixture we did earlier. And it says to let this simmer for 10 to 15 minutes because I have less of it, so the reduction isn't gonna take as long. It's gonna cook this for a couple minutes um, on medium, adding the green onion in. And then we're gonna kick it back up to medium high for a second so we can have it start simmering and thickening up. And you're just trying to get until about um, a third of the sauce is left over if you're doing the full recipe. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. Add the pasta in. That's gotta go for 10 minutes. Going to remove from the eye. Then adding in the butter it calls for. And whisk that around until it's completely melted says a quarter cup of heavy cream for the full recipe so i'm doing like pretty much just half of that but you have to be really careful in this step because um after the butter has melted and everything and the sauce is thicker basically just keep this from the heat um the heavy cream if you allow it to boil it'll start like curdling and you don't want that to happen so um, I'm instead of putting it back over the eye like it says because I've made this recipe before I'm just pouring the heavy cream in here And I'm going to Mix it around I'm literally going to stick it over the eye for like five seconds So we do not want it to boil and we're throwing the chicken back in the pan So we're making sure we're getting the sauce all over the chicken. I'm gonna flip it on both sides and then we're placing the skillet in the oven for um, five to eight minutes or until the chicken is completely cooked through. Uh, make sure your skillet pan is oven safe. Mine is up to um, a certain temperature, so we're good there. I just turn the oven down to 350, pulled the asparagus out, it was in there for about 20 minutes, total at 375, and wrapping the asparagus um, up in the foil that it baked in just to maintain its heat so it doesn't... Um, Cool off which is what we do whenever we make things in the air fryer and we're like doing steak first or veggies first whatever and we have to keep everything warm um basically we will just wrap whatever we make in foil and that just helps trap the heat so that everything stays hot for a long time been in for five minutes and we're just gonna cut make sure it's open or not open <laughs> cut make sure it's done which it just cut pretty seamlessly so it looks nice and done to me and then we're gonna the sauce is like really thick in now and it looks delicious. It smells delicious and the pasta got done just in time as well. I'm just gonna do a little bit of oregano. A bit of rosemary. For the pasta, we're doing just butter, salt, pepper. Look how good it looks, you guys. So excited to eat right now. Um, I just made some warm apple cider. I had a like big thing of it in my fridge from like Halloween fall time and it's still good. So I just opened it and heated some up in a mug and I talked to my brother on the phone for like 15 minutes. I've literally been working like all day long. I just finished up like adding the links and doing the thumbnail for my video that's going up tomorrow i think it's going yeah tomorrow i think it's going up it's nine o'clock and i really just want to chill the rest of the night because i'm honestly probably going to try and be in bed in the next hour and a half or so um but i do really just want to like relax at least for 45 minutes or an hour because i've literally been working all day and i know it's like one of the last nights of freedom before things get crazy i actually need to read over some stuff that uh, my Miss McKinney, who's like over the lift program, sent over to me that I need to proofread. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. All right, everyone. So I had to respond to some um, emails and just some stuff for Lyft, and we just got like our schedules for Lyft, like for the semester, or at least they're tentative. Um, and since I am pretty much in class literally the entire day, Tuesday and Thursday, since all five of my classes are on Tuesday, Thursday. Um, all of my Lyft stuff is Monday, Wednesday, afternoon, evening, and then, um, 
Friday, one Friday morning. So that's the situation there. But I am about to go walk Ella. It's 10:15. Then I'm gonna take a body shower and get to bed. I've been trying to be asleep by like 10:45 lately. Thank you all for watching this vlog. Sorry, it's like so dark right now. Um, I just ate some pretzels and the rest of the brownie hummus because it's so good. But I love you guys. Thank you for watching today's vlog, and I will see you all soon i'm sure i'll be vlogging tomorrow <laughs> and the next day i don't know i love you all so much and be sure to subscribe follow me on social media link down below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it all that stuff and i will see you all soon that was supposed to be a peace sign but it looked like nothing oops <laughs>